All right, it is EJ, and welcome to another episode of Next Up with my homie, Nina Nesbitt. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm, you, you know what? I'm kind of sad right now because I heard that you ate fried chicken for the first time in Atlanta, and I was like, man, I wish she was here with me because I would have took you to like some good old fried chicken spot. Is it a thing here, too? Well, I, 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 there are fried chicken places and things like that, okay. but I would have like, you know, showed you around, showed you the original, the crispy, whatever you wanted. There's I, still time. Oh, well, When are you leaving? We need to do this. I'm here for like five days. All right, we, we, we got to make plans to make we'll this happen. It. So was it everything that you dreamed of and more? Well, I landed in Atlanta, uh-huh. was stuck at Borders for like two hours. Oh, God. Starving. Get to the hotel and I'm like on Twitter, what should I do in Atlanta? And everyone's like, fried chicken. And that was the first time you've had it first ever. Time. Really? Yeah, like fried fried chicken. Really? So I've had like chicken dippers, mm-hmm. but this was like fried chicken and it, the portion was so big. It was so good. I saw it was like a couple of pieces you got. It was good. And the French fries too. That's a and great mac combination. And cheese. Do you love mac and cheese? I love mac and cheese, and you love mac and cheese here, too. I love mac and cheese, it's although so it's, good. like, not good for my body, but I love me some mac and cheese. So how are you? Is everything all good? I'm good, yeah. How, um, um, let's talk about this tour that you have popping, which actually starts, started already. Uh, yeah, I got here a month ago. Okay. I've been doing a promo tour. Uh-huh. Started in Atlanta, went through the South, went to New York, did South by, went to Vegas yesterday for a few hours and went down the Strip. That was fun. Um, came here last right. night, uh, going on tour with Jake Bug on Tuesday, Monday, one of the days. I know, it's a blur. You've been doing one a lot. One of the days. Um, doing West Coast, South, and then I'm doing Headline Tour, which I announced this morning. I've been up since seven because oh of the time gosh. difference, right, like right. sitting waiting for it. Um, so yeah, that's happening. So it's busy. Let's talk about months. South By right quick. I love the experience of South By. I lived in Austin for a gazillion years. Okay. And just like going to the shows and, and getting the, it's like you're getting the actual reaction from people as you're performing. Like it's, it's probably the best experience that I've ever had in my whole entire life. Just going to shows and pops up, pop ups and things yeah. like that. How was your South By experience? I think for artists, it's like a really vulnerable experience because you don't get a sound check and you're literally like, you don't have your lighting. Like, it's stripped down. Three, two, one, go. And they push you out on stage. And and it like really tests you like as as a crew, like my band member and like everyone just has to like pull together and be like, right, we've got this and no sound check, but we're gonna do a great show. And I think that's when the best shows actually happen when you're just like, Ah, what's going on? Right, 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 right. We had like one of genuinely like one of the best shows we've ever done was at South by and the audience were amazing, like everyone was a bit drunk. And that's Austin. Yeah, Everybody's like always everyone's drunk. just up for it. Two o'clock in the afternoon, they're yeah, drunk. That's why they was, can't drive down there. It was good. That's great. Do you like doing shows like that? Like where it's just like, you know, a room probably this size, everybody's peering into your soul and whatnot as you're singing. Like, does that get to you or no? Yeah, no, I I quite like rooms that are smaller and mm-hmm. especially here because i'm like i guess starting from the bottom right um it's exciting because it's like small rooms i can meet everyone afterwards find out where they're from find out how they find out about my music and it's like you get to know the people which is what i did in the uk so in the uk like i see the front row and i'm like yeah i know you and i know you and i know you that's a great feeling when people just it's come cool. out and support, to yeah. support your craft you know yeah, what i mean it's amazing Uh, Can we talk about Psychopath, which I feel like, is this about an ex or something? Because let me tell you about my favorite lyrics. So you want to lie to me, blank you. That's that's probably one of my favorite lyrics in a song. So is that like, was it, well, it wasn't all you who uh, wrote the song or anything like that, right? So it's Spotify, you know, Spotify singles, the Spotify single session. So Uh this is the first ever collaborative Spotify singles right. thing. So Spotify are essentially putting out this song with me, Charlotte Lawrence, who's from here, uh-huh. um, and Sasha Sloan, who's this amazing writer turned artist. So we were picked by Spotify. Right. They're like, get in a room. Never met each other, right? Really? Never met each other. So we get in this room, and King Henry, the producer, and they're like, write, write a song that's <sighs> empowering. And we were like, oh my God. <laughs> What were we going to do? And um, it was good because we actually wrote a song right. that we liked. And we were all like, oh, my God, because we all write all the time. And we were like, 
we do so many sessions where you come out with nothing right. or a song that you think's quite bad. So for us to be in the room together and write a song that we all liked was like a miracle. No, this was really good. Um, like I was saying before, it sounds like this came from somewhere. This is not like one of those songs. You know like how you write one of those BS songs and it's yeah. like, all right, well, we're, well, no, this song came from it's somewhere. Real. <laughs> like where did this song come from? Were you guys just in there mad? Like what where did the where did the inspiration come from this? Well, we the theme was like women empowerment. Right. It's like all about girls coming together and actually working together and not seeing each other as like competition or whatever. It's like right. supporting each other and you know, there's room for everyone. So we were sitting in the room and we were like, we don't want to write like a, like, woo, we were like all, a bubblegum, like, you like, know, track and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Right. Like we didn't want it to be naff. And we were like, let's just write a song about what we feel is empowering. Right. And, um, I think like a lot of the time girls get branded with the like, Oh, you're crazy. Like, you're a psycho like you're so emotional no no and it's we're, like, we play the mind games too don't yeah, get it twisted like, like what you it. mean and yeah. you know it will be the main ones like we know exactly what you mean but we're trying yeah. to send you for that mind like what you mean why are you mad yeah, exactly. shawty why are you mad <laughs> Wait, what's, what's the you're matter playing us. exactly oh I'm, I'm here to tell you that that's the case <laughs> oh game changer it's so funny because i always felt like women are like just the best at playing games and whatnot because you guys are almost like cats like you guys move yeah. around in silence and then the, you guys are the silent killers if that yeah, makes we sense are. you know what i mean we are that's so awesome well the song's great Thank you. um let's chit chat about the tour which yeah. is you announced today yeah you are going out on monday the 26th yeah. how excited are you about it i'm really excited because i'd only ever been to new york LA and Nashville before. Right. So to get to like go to all the bits in the middle will be really cool. You got 26 dates. I know. You're going to be on the road for a long time. I know. What's your favorite <laughs> thing about living on the road or if there is a favorite thing? Uh, the show. Really? Because there's so much traveling and especially here because America's so big. Mm -hmm. The traveling is like so tiring but and there's like a lot of sitting about during the day so you're kind of like kind of just sitting there but like when it's not an acoustic tour mm -hmm. it's fun because i've got like my band member and my tour manager and we actually have a laugh um and the show is like the excitement like you're waiting all day for this like hour of adrenaline so yeah i would say that's obviously do you guys go favorite. out and explore these different cities and stuff like that or you just stay in your hotel room yeah i've really started doing that because i feel like i've been touring for like six years mm -hmm. and before i would just go to the venue and i'd just sit in the venue and I don't want to go out and I look back and I'm like I've missed so many great opportunities to see things so right. we were in Austin and we went to Barton Springs oh absolutely you gotta we to all right, so this Springs. is what you gotta do you gotta go uh to the I love did you see the I love you so much sign on South Congress there's this sign that's like legendary in Austin and it's like oh. I love you so much and so many people go there and take pictures oh, and yeah. you gotta put it up on your Instagram I, miss, I have to go back now yeah and then you also gotta see the bats under Congress I've seen them they're super cool so like cool. how they come out after 6 p.m. Yeah. it's like wow so cool are you a foodie too yeah not like not one of those like vegan take a picture sort right, of right, salad right. bar. It's more like fried chicken and mac and cheese. <laughs> well, you know, Austin has places like that too where you can go and just dig in and, and have a good time. Yeah. I don't know if you're like a huge barbecue fan. I but had stubs. Was it everything and <sighs> it was, more? It was Did you love it? <sighs> but I feel like my insides are blocked. <laughs> After this month, you need to like cleanse for a good three weeks. Uh, fuck, I've got a green juice in my bag, so I'll show you the room to the uh, the way to the bathroom after that because I know how those green juices are. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't really drink them very often, so <laughs> just be prepared. Lovely. So, what's next for uh, Nina? Tell me. Uh, so, this tour, I'm here for two and a half months, then I get back for a UK tour, and then the album. And Ooh, festivals. Are you excited? I'm recording the last song for the album tonight. Here. Here. That would be a great Hot studio session. Press. I know. I'm about to go on Twitter and be like, guess what, guys? Yeah. She's about to <laughs> record the last song. So when um when can you expect it to be out? I think in the autumn. Really? Or as you say, the fall. Yeah, because I was um, little like and I, mm -hmm. I was like, I learned that in school. Yeah. Autumn. Awesome, I think, but I think now, like with Spotify and Apple and streaming and stuff, you just you put tracks out and mm -hmm. they kind of either last a few weeks or they last a few months. And somebody special came out in January and it's still building, so we're just 
gonna go with that and then put out another one and whenever it feels like the right time for the album I'll put that out but I'm excited for people to hear it speaking of that song I feel like when I was listening to it it was like came straight from a diary does that make sense yeah like it's it's so real and so uh relatable like I'm mm -hmm. like wow like that was oh. it's, it's a really good song thanks you good girl oh thank you Nina thank you so much for stopping by thanks for having me Nina Nesbitt everybody